This Teachable Moment is brought to you by the Jewish Healthcare Foundation and the Pittsburgh Regional Health Initiative. With standardization and a focus on head of bed elevation, learn how a team from Allegheny General Hospital reduced the incidence of ventilator-associated pneumonia. What is critical about head of the bed elevation is there are some studies that demonstrate that if patient who's ventilated is head of the bed is up between 30 and 45 degrees, they experience less ventilator-associated infections and other problems. The first step that we did was we came together as a team, and that team started to do observations in the unit, looking at nurses managing ventilated patients, respiratory therapists managing ventilated patients, and we brought that data together as a group. It was very clear as the facilitator of the group that the individuals involved had the answers. The staff's been doing great um, the last two weeks. The data has been really good. 15 to 16 hours, head of bed has been up greater than 30 degrees. As I do my rounding, people seem to be very compliant and they're doing great. So our goal was to share data, understand each other's processes, and come up with best practice. What was wonderful was the nurses actually asked to have an alarm set on the bed so that they could know right away when the alarm stopped beeping that the head of the bed was elevated and they could be assured that it was above 30 degrees. The visual cues were put in place based on feedback from the nursing staff. The ball is very difficult to visualize in the room, so the nurses put in a red mark so that you could see visually right away if you were directly across from the bed that the ball was right where it should be and that was the minimum standard, which is 30 degrees. And so what we sought to achieve was to make the standard of care equal regardless of where the patient was in the organization when they were on a ventilator. The respiratory therapists take charge of the patient for all transports. They have a transport checklist, they've outlined seven steps from preparing the patient for transport, securing the equipment, moving the patient, moving through to the end, which is the return of the patient to the unit. We came up against a number of barriers when we started to talk about mobilizing the patients. So we involved one of our physiatrists who helped to educate the nurses as well as the physicians that patients who are ventilated can easily and comfortably get out of bed. All right, Bob, you look good, okay? We'll be back in a little bit. When you do quality improvement in this organization, or any organization, healthcare organization, you can achieve tremendous results as a group of a team far in excess of what you could ever have achieved as an individual. Many of us here at Allegheny General attended the PPC University, and the thing that I took away from it was that small changes can mean a lot.